Nice job by everybody in the pit area, all the officials, all the drivers and teams to just roll that qualifying out here tonight. We truly appreciate it. Great job by everyone involved. Forty. Forty-seven Inex Legend cars here today. Crazy. Where's Wrecker One? I thought he was here. Where's John Denniston? Where we were. Yeah, he's. I know he's here somewhere. Inex Legend cars about to hit the raceway. They hit the raceway. Let's go to Bob Fina, Bobby. All right, heat number one for the Inex Legend race cars. Starting on the pole, the Slots a Lot car. Slot car racing track out of Franklin Square sponsors the driver out of West Hempstead, Chris Sinatro. To the outside pole, it's the Hitman Collision, number 14 for Jaden Glenister. Starting third, driving the Benamax Trucking, number 86 from Manorville, Ray Fitzgerald. Starting fourth, Driving car number 05, that's Seaford Long Island's Mark Godnick, the progressive movers, number 05. Starting fifth, driving car number 99, that is the Hegler's South Coast Power Equipment. Entry out of Massachusetts, Rich Hegler Jr. Starting sixth, out of East Hampton, it is the Bistrian Materials, Quackenbush Cesspools, number 62, for East Hampton's Michael Benton. Starting seventh, driving the Fidge Factor web design, number double zero, Christopher Coleman. He is out of East Islip. Starting eighth, he is in the Get Clear Crystal Clear window cleaning, number 42, from Manorville, Riley O'Keefe. Starting ninth, at Amastic Beach, car number 54 for Billy King Jr. The top five cars from the five legend heat races, five heat races, will transfer to the 40 lap feature event and the Concy will take one car wow. to get to 26. Wow. Green flag is out. Chris Sinatra with a good start to this event. Ray Fitzgerald in car number 86 comes to the second spot. As Jaden Glenister sits third. Fourth is a battle. Riley O'Keefe, car number 42 to the fourth spot. He started eighth. O'Keefe looks good here early on. Car double zero. Christopher Coleman and Mike Benton make an assault on car number 99 of Rich Hager for that fifth and final qualified spot. They get by him and now they'll battle as Benton to the inside of Christopher Coleman. Up front, Chris Sinatra leads the way halfway through this event. Ray Fitzgerald runs second. Riley O'Keefe on rails to the inside of Fitzgerald for that second spot. O'Keefe comes to position number two. Fitzgerald is third. Glenister with a great run to sit fourth. Mike Benton is fifth. Outside looking right, outside looking in right now, Christopher Coleman and the 99 car of Rich Helger, as well as the 05 and the 54. Mark Godnick in the 05 and Billy King Jr. In the 54. Benton with a move to the inside of Glenister for the fourth spot. Glenister's going to want to hold on to that fifth spot as we come to two to go. Top five will transfer to tonight's feature event. Sinatra looking very strong here, Stephen. And yeah, they have a crate modified here as well tonight. Yeah, Carter double Brady. dipping, yep. They come to the checkered flag. It's Chris Sinatra. Taking down the win in car number 88. It was Chris Sinatra. Second across the line was the 42 
of Riley O'Keefe, third car number 86 of Ray Fitzgerald, fourth the 62 of Mike Benton, and fifth car number 14X of Jaden Glenister. Up next, Legend Heat Race number two. The starting lineup, it's Bob Fine and Bobby. Thank you very much, Steve. Starting on the pole, driving car number 40. That is the Nick Lascula Racing, number 40, out of Mooresville, North Carolina, Luke Baldwin. Starting on the outside pole in the Wissowiak Motorsports, number 80, Checker One Manufacturing entry for Alan Peterson of Santa Mauritius. Out of Waterford, Connecticut, starting third, driving the 14Z, is Zach Martinez. Starting fourth, driving the Northport, uh, driving the Delia Sod Farms, number 16, out of Northport, Michael Collier. Starting fifth, driving the number two, the Planet Earth Recovery, Joe Ryan Race Cars, number two, for Jim Sylvester of Massapequa. Out of West Islip, starting sixth, driving the Hardman's Electric, number 92, is Ed Statlander. Starting seventh in the Nick Lascula Racing, Hegler's South Coast Power Equipment, number 27, out of Newton, Massachusetts, Luke LeBron. Starting eighth, driving the MJF Plumbing, and heating. JML Excavation, number 13, from East Greenwich, Rhode Island, Jacob Burns. Starting ninth, in the Hilltop Bagels, number 51, from Holbrook, Kevin Ornberger. Not Jed Ordmeyer. <laughs> yeah, I messed that up one day. Wife thought it was funny. Especially once we told him who Jed Ortmeyer was. Defenseman for the New York Rangers. No, he was not a defenseman. He was a forward? He was a winger. Number was 40, goal? number 41. Did you drive the Zamboni? No. Top five cars will transfer to the 40, uh, yeah, the 40 lap INX Legend Race Car feature event. Green flag is out, Luke Baldwin, car number 40. Leads him into lap number one, but here comes the 80 of Alan Peterson to the outside. Baldwin staying on Peterson here. Baldwin gets a love tap from the 14 car. Zach, Zach Martinez, Martinez. Yeah. Baldwin does a nice job to get in line. Martinez runs the, uh, oh. Caution flag down for car number 40, Luke Baldwin. Yeah, he had a little help. 100%. Zach Martinez will go to the rear of the field, and he knows it. And the sh here's the shame of it. And he knows it. Here's the shame of it. Five cars get into this race. Could have just stayed right in line, and he just basically punted him in the middle of one and in the middle of three and four. So now Baldwin has to fight his way back to the top five. I, I think he's going to be okay here. 
It's just, you know, he should have been comfortable where he was running second. Well, maybe he shouldn't come so easy. <laughs> His father's probably screaming at me now. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he is. But Ooh. he loves me. Oh, how can anyone not love you? Great to see Glenn Dixon, the crew chief to the stars here today. Did you see the pictures this week of when he drove? Listen, somebody's got to find Dixon a razor for the victory lean photos if they win. No, he doesn't care. That's his playoff beard. Oh, his playoff beard. Yeah, he's beard. growing his playoff beard. Him and Johnny Denniston. Because he's quite athletic. Growing their playoff beards. You know, JYD looking unshaven. These guys are a little rough on each other under caution laps. In pace laps. I mean, come on. 16, Michael Collier, just into the back of the two car. Oh, Jimmy Sylvester. Sylvester may have lost a tooth in the deal. Both of them. Now he's toothless. Two laps into this event. Alan Peterson leads him around. The East-West Management Go Zone. Green flag is out. Baldwin running the cushion. Caution flag down. And I think a little impatience there. Luke Baldwin, car number 40, and the 51. Kevin Ornberger. You talk about an eventful half a mile for Luke Bowling. Oh, yeah, he's having a rough one. There he is, Bob Finan. Two of oh. them. They're like mirror images on the front stretch. Look to your left. Oh, yeah. The couch racer, big sexy. Freddie Kraft and Jim Laird Jr. Somebody help Freddie from the second set of stairs up. Yeah, he needs help. Oh. Is there a forklift or something that can get that kid up there? There's that scissor lift. Look at him. Look at him. I don't know why she stays with him. He's fat like us. He's funny. It must be that, yeah. He's funny. Yeah. That's what it is. He's, I know. I, I heard. I heard. That door bumper clear show. I stop everything I'm doing on Thursday night at 7 o'clock to watch it. Well, so you could see Freddie's side profile. Nobody ever thought to put him behind yes. the table. Yes. Yeah. We get his you side got to change that seating arrangement next Come year, Come on, buddy. man. Got more rolls. TJ, than... TJ is, is way thinner than you. I don't know about that. He looks like. <laughs> no, TJ looks good. Freddie looks good. Hey, let's not get crazy. <laughs> Make sure you get yourself some couch racer wearing apparel. Yes, hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts. Freddie's got to pay the mortgage, so help oh, him out. That's a retirement you, fund. Just help the kid out. A hey, former two-time rookie of the year here at Riverhead Race. Figure Club. eights. Two-time figure Dorothea eight. Hyde of the still year. won't talk to me. <laughs> Green flag back out. Two laps down, eight remain. Top five will qualify. Jim Sylvester, car number two to the outside. Comes to the lead. Here comes car number 27, Luke LeBrun to the second spot. Third, Alan Peterson in car number 80. Fourth is the 13 car of Jacob Burns. And fifth, back to fifth, in car number 14Z, Zach Martinez.
Martinez now to the inside of Jacob Burns. Comes to the fourth spot. Here comes the 27 now to the inside of Jim Sylvester. Luke LeBrun. LeBrun tries to come to the lead here with two to go. Isn't he an elite singer for Duran Duran? He used to be. Simon's cousin, Luke. They come to the white flag. Good move by LeBrun to come to the lead. Sylvester is second. Third is Peterson. Fourth is Martinez. And fifth is car number 13 of Jacob Burns. And Burns had to hold off Collier in the 16, but the 16 slipped up in one and two. Checkered flies. Taking down the win in car number 27. It was Luke LeBrun, second across the line, car number two, Jim Sylvester, third, the 80 of Allen Peterson, fourth, car number 14. Right up here, of buddy. Zach Martinez. Right here. Fifth, car number 13 of Jacob Burns. Up next, legend, heat race number three with the starting lineup. It's Bob Fine and Bob. Bob Fine and Bob. Starting on the pole at an S concert, the Sea Crystal Pools, number 28 for Nick Cossus. Cossus. Nick Cossus at an Wisconsin. To the outside pole at a Uncasville, Connecticut, the Sharp Home Improvements. Critical signs number 13 for Jacob, uh, number 12 for Jacob Burns. Better known as PJ Evans. See, this is why you retire. Starting third, driving car number 29, it's Cole Robbie. Starting fourth, out of Bridge Hampton, driving car number 83. The main jack plumbing and heating entry for Donald Duran. Starting fifth, the AJ painting. Chris Moore landscaping number 18 for Jeff Ferrugia Jr. out of Rubin. Starting sixth from Aquabog. That's the finish line demolition to Masonary number 99, George Tomko Jr. Peter Fallon to Southampton is in the six. Tyler Fair, the 36 of Michael Metcalf. The cesspool pros, number 22. Out of Bay Shore starts ninth. Green flag is out. Good start for car number 12 of PJ Evans. Evans to your early race lead. Got out of the hornet's nest. To second, car number 29 of Cole Rurobi. Around goes the 93 of Donald Duran. Also formerly of Duran Duran. Old man is here. Third, car number 18, Jeff Ferruccia Jr. To fourth, the 99 of George Tomko Jr. The battle is for fifth. It's car number six. To the inside, Peter Fallon comes to the fifth spot. Top five cars will qualify for tonight's feature event. Car number 12. P.J. Evans leads the way. Halfway this time by. I don't think he's ever seen this place. Nope. Doesn't seem to bother him, though. It's car number 29. Of Cole Rabi. Rabi. Sits second, third is Ferrugia. Fourth is Tomko. And fifth is Fallon in car number six. Great run for Fallon out of Southampton. Yeah, he's doing a nice job. Givinelli taught him everything he knows. Two to go this time by for P.J. Evans. Twenty-nine Cole Rurobi. Problems for Metcalf there as they come to the white flag. Ferrugia sits third. Tomko is fourth. Fifth is Fallon. So they'll come to the checkered flag this time by great job by PJ Evans to take down the win. Taking down the win in car number 12, it was P.J. Evans, second across the line, car number 29 of Cole Rurobi. Third, car number 18, Jeff Ferrugia Jr. Fourth, car number 99, George Tomko Jr. And fifth, 
Car number six, Peter Fallon. Up next, Legend Heat Race number four with the starting lineup. It's Bob Fine and Bobby. Starting on the pole in the Benamax Trucking, number 71 at a Miller Place. That's Nick Morabito. In the Terra Vite, North Fork Winery and Vineyards, number nine, starting on the outside pole from Wading River, Chase Van Houten. In the Nomo Motorsports, number 53, former two time River Raceway champion, starts third, Kevin Nowak out of Medford, starting fourth from Belmore, the C Pro Marine Dock Builders, number 20 for Charlie Hodge. Starting fifth, Checker One Motorsports, number 21 for Jake Curran of Calverton. Starting sixth, she comes to us from East Hampton. That's the Ocean Graphics entry for Kim Danielle. Starting seventh, driving the Filthy Frog Saloon of Ronkonkoma, Shenanigans Pub of Ronkonkoma, Bar Car, it's Ray Stulls of Ronkonkoma. Isaiah Newcomb, car number 22 from Parts Unknown will start eighth, starting third. Driving the stinkythings.com number 3V, it's V Ride Michael Van Houten Jr. Green flag is out. Morbido to the immediate lead, but here comes Chase Van Houten to the bottom. Van Houten in car number nine, coming off a top five finish at the Waterford Speed Bowl. A few weeks back. Looks to the inside here of Morbido. Van Houten to the inside, Morbido to the outside, Noak to third. Caution flag will come out. Unfortunate for Mike Van Houten Jr. V-Ride was making his way to the front there. And the 22 car just got into him. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened there, but really not Metcalf style. Well, that's not Metcalf, is it? Tis. Was it Metcalf in the last race? Oh, no, that's the, um, you're right. That is the Isaiah Newcomb, who's never been here before. So, we'll, you know what? I think we give him a pass there. Probably didn't yeah, know. Just a shame. V-Ride was on the outside passing some cars. I think he might have got him in the rear end. He yeah, I think it's a skew. What a shame. He had a good car. Fast car. He was actually passing people. Which, you know. I'm not going to say Mike never passed anybody before. But. No, but he was digging. He was trying to come to the front there. There they are. Jesus. My little darlings. Gage and Reed. Speedy Reedy, fifth place in the Bandolero points. Hey, listen, Gage, when you play for the Mets, I'll come over to Port St. Lucie and watch you. Oh, uh, don't listen to him. You're not playing for the Mets. Actually, if you play for the Yankees, you'll be in Tampa. It's even better. Even better. We've been there. We've been to that stadium. It's beautiful. Chase Van Houten, unfortunately, heading to the pits. He was running uh -oh. second. Oh, man. And there are no courtesy laps in heat races. It won't run. It's stopping on the ramp. So that's either an electrical or fuel issue. What a shame. Hasn't been a Van Houten type heat race, unfortunately. Green flag out once again. Morbido to the inside. Noak to the outside in car number 53. Charlie Hodge, car number 20, to the outside of Jake Curran. Oh, Noak and Morbido make contact. Morbido to the lead, Noak to second, to third. Jake Curran goes up the hill as Hodge runs underneath him.
Curran and the 20 of Charlie Hodge. Haven't had it for third. Ray Stulls sits in the fifth and final transfer spot. Two to go this time by for Nick Morbido. White flag will come down for Morbido. Again, Kevin Nowak is second, Jake Curran is third, Charlie Hodge fourth, and Ray Stull's fifth. They come to the checkered. That's how they'll finish. Taking down the win. Car number 71 was Nick Morbido, second across the line, the 53 of Kevin Nowak, third. Car number 21, Jake Curran, fourth. The 20 of Charlie Hodge in fifth. Car number 47 of Ray Stalls. Up next, heat race number five for the Legend Race Cars. And with the starting lineup, it's Bob Fine and Bobby. Thank you very much, Steve Halpin. Again, here at fifth heat race, five will qualify. Starting on the pole, the Green Ride Medical Transport, Freddie and Megan Kraft. Number 25 for big money, Richie Davidowitz out of East Mauritius. To the outside pole, driving car number 27. That will be Nick Buckley. Buckley in car number 27N. On the third starting spot, car number 31 from Waterford, Connecticut, the Philomena's Restaurant entry for Brody Monahan. Starting fourth, Charlie's Hot Dogs of Islip, number 81 for Rich Braun out of East Islip. Starting sixth, make that fifth, the Joe Ryan Race Cars, Van Houten Truck and Gershaw Recycling, number 02 for Brad Van Houten, BVH, out of Waiting River. Starting sixth, driving car number seven, that is the Tommy Ballman Racing Ballman Automotive, number seven. For Colin Hefner out of Stores, Connecticut. Starting seventh, driving the number 35, the Prime Molding Technologies entry for Colin Volpe. Starting eighth, the M3 Technology, number 10, out of Shirley, Jason Castaldo. Starting ninth, car number 42. Out of Deaton, Massachusetts, the Hagler's South Coast Power Equipment Entry for Mason Tessier. Ten laps to be the distance, top four, five cars to qualify. Big money, Richie Davidowitz brings him around. Green flag is in the air. Nicholas Buckley, car number 27 of the inside of Richie Davidowitz. For position number one, is Brody Monahan in car number 31, sits third, fourth is BBH, Brad Van Houten, and fifth, Colin Volpe. Davidowitz to the race lead in car number 25. Buckley runs second. Third is Monahan, fourth, Van Houten, fifth is Volpe, but he's feeling the heat from the 10 of Jason Castaldo. Van Houten with a peek to the inside of Monahan. Backs off that move. Up front, Richie Davidowitz continues to set the pace in car number 25 as he leads Nicholas Buckley, car number 27. Probably the shocking part here is Davidowitz went winless in the regular season. Yeah. 31 of Monahan. 
sits third. Here comes Castaldo to the inside of Brad Van Houten. Van Houten to the outs. Oh, the 31 almost put him in the fence. That allows Volpe to clamber up to the back bumper of Van Houten. Van what, Houten what broke his momentum. Brad not to wreck that thing. Yeah, he, that, listen, visions of that wreck down here one time yeah. and four. Eight laps into this event. Two remain. Davidowitz will come to the white flag this time by. Right now, comfortably, your top five. Richie Davidowitz, Nicholas Buckley. Buckley's getting it. Yeah, Jason Castaldo, Brody Monahan, and Brad Van Houten, and that's how they'll finish. Checkered flag flies, taking down the win. In car number 25 was big money, Richie Davidowitz. Second across the line, Nicholas Buckley. Third, car number 10, Jason Castaldo. Fourth, the 31 of Brody Monahan. And fifth, car number 02 of BVH, Brad Van Houten. Up next, Eagle Auto Mall Crate Modifieds about to hit the raceway. And with the starting lineup for heat race number one, it's Bob Fine and Bobby. And he will drive the number 96 to start on the pole from Mooresville, North Carolina steering the Petro Home Services Beavers towing number 96 Jack Baldwin starting on the outside pole in the slots a lot the slot car racetrack of Franklin Square number 88 from West Hempstead Chris Sinatra starting third CHM Landscaping number 7 for Charles McWinney from Southampton starting fourth driving uh, the Mike Ryan Cesspool Services. Number 37 from Northport, Sean Glennon. Starting fifth, steering the Rat Pack Motorsports. Rosemar Industries, number 35, Kyle L. with a river. And starting sixth, Hollis Court Collision. Lachardi Builders, number 66 from Mad Max Hanley out of Medford. Starting seventh, he is the King of Queens, Mike Albacini, the Hollis Court Collision, number six out of Hollis, Bayside, Woodside, somewhere in Queens. Starting eighth, the Casola Motorsports, number 98 out of New Jersey, DJ Doyle. Your 2022 Riverhead Raceway Eagle Automobile Crate Modified Champion will start ninth in the Dillner Precast. Mercanti Construction, number 38, from Glencove, Owen Grennan. And starting 10th, the Comfort Farm Stand, number 27 for A.J. DeSantis. Two heat races, everybody qualifies. Going to go green next time by Jack Baldwin in the Peter Clark Motorsports Baldwin Automotive, number 96, to lead this field to the East-West Management Go Zone. Green flag is out. Ten laps to be the distance. Caution comes down.
Caution flag down. Caution flag down. No laps complete. Hey, good job by Jack Baldwin. On that start, rolled it into the east-west management goal zone. Did a good job. Car number 96. And again, the historic significance with that car that is his grandfather, Tom Baldwin Sr.'s car that he sold to Howie Brody in 1998. Howie Brody won the championship here in that car. That's one of the final Tom Baldwin cars around. So great to see him in it here tonight. Jack Baldwin to the inside. Sean Glennon to the outside. 10 laps to be the distance. Top six to qualify for tonight's feature event. Green flag down, good job by Baldwin on the inside, Glennon on the outside. To third, here comes the 35. Kyle Elwood, car number 35. Mike Albacini to the inside of Doyle for position number four. As Jack Baldwin continues to run the bottom here. Oh, and Grennan, who started ninth, is up to sixth. Now, Glennon hanging the Mike Ryan Cespool service. Rittenhouse Properties, number 37, to the outside. Elwood looks good here in the 35 car. Baldwin trying to ramble back to the inside. But he's going to get two for the price of one. It's Kyle Elwood. Will bring the Rosemar industry true value as Senator Riches, number 35, to second. Jack Baldwin runs third. Fourth is Mike Albacini. Albacini got under DJ Doyle and may have gotten a shot from Owen Grennan and sent him further up the hill. So they are, and Doyle back into the back bumper, Albacini, who is none too pleased about it. Kyle Elwood looking to the outside of Glennon. DJ Doyle to the outside of Grennan. Yellow and checkered will fly. Yellow checkered flies, taking down the winning car number 37. Rashawn Glennon, second across the line, car number 35. Kyle Elwood, third, the 96. Jack Baldwin, fourth, car number six. Mike Albacini, fifth, the 38 of Owen Grennan, sixth, the 27 of A.J. DeSantis. Up next, heat race number two. With the starting lineup, it's Bob Finan. Bobby?
starting on the pole, driving the high-end collision, number zero, for a great modified heat, number two is Stephen Coleman out of East Islip. The outside pole, in the cam materials, number 12, from Calverton, the Colonel, Dennis Krupski. Starting third, State East Pumpkin Farm. Fine design masonry, number 46. From Islip Terrace, Vinnie Delaney. Starting fourth, driving the M3 Technology Pro Diesel. Number nine, Michael Burner of Patchogue. Starting fifth, getting a one-off ride in the Benamax Trucking, number 77. From Patchogue, Chris Rogers. Starting sixth, the Van Buren, uh, the Vanguard Fire Protection, number 16, for Alex Colasanto at a Riverhead. Starting seventh, big thanks to uh, Mike Grandpa, Dave Bruno, Bob Earl, Starry Automotive, and he's announcing Jimmy Spagnolo of Van Buren Auto. Allison Transmission Authorized Dealer as a sponsor for 2023. The Styles Files, Terry Styles, and Rocky Point. Starting eighth, car number two. That's Jason Ogugliaro of Islip. Chase Grennan, Black Forest Automotive. Number 55, and Ed Schutz, Park Service. Number 28. Gonna go green next time, bye. The two of Agugliaro did not come to the track, so it'll be a nine car event. Car number zero, Stephen Coleman leads him out of the East West Management Go Zone and down into turn number one. Here comes Dennis Krupski on the outside, but Coleman with a good run on the bottom. Krupski sending it in, hanging it on the outside, but here comes car number zero. Stephen Coleman to your race lead. Delaney now to the inside in car number 46. Brady Delaney to the second spot, Krupski to third. The 77, Chris Rogers. So the inside of Dennis Krupski for the third spot. Krupski into the wall. Krupski able to keep going after brushing the wall here on the front stretch. If that was a dirt track race, they would say he bicycled that car. Halfway this time by for Stephen Coleman in car number zero. Vinny Delaney sits second, third is Chris Rogers, fourth is Dennis Krupski, miraculously. The battle is for fifth as Terry Stiles gets the spot, now heads to the inside at car number 12, Dennis Krupski for position number four. Top six, the transfer here. Krupski way up the hill again. Coleman leads the way. Delaney is second, third is the 77 of Chris Rogers. Rogers, quite frankly, could be given that car the best run it's had all year. Fourth, the 41, Terry Styles. Fifth, Michael Burner in sixth, the 12 of Dennis Krupski. Coleman gets the white flag. Stephen 
77 car to the inside of Delaney will come to second as they come to the checker. Taking down the win in car number zero with Stephen Coleman second across the line, car number 77. Chris Rogers third, car number 41, Terry Styles fourth, the 46 of Vinny Delaney fifth, Michael Berner, and sixth, car number 12, Dennis Krupski. The tour type modified consolation event and for those of you new here at Rivet Raceway here today, what a consolation means is the the 24 cars that qualified in time are set. The 25th place car for the feature, the ISOP 300, will be determined by the winner of this event. Then there will be a provisional. So again, the cars that qualify 24 on time Give one more opportunity to make the ice up 300. It's called the consolation event. The winner will transfer into the ice up 300. There'll be a 26th order based on the Crown Jewels Series point standings. The highest ranking driver in the Crown Jewels Series that did not make the ice up 300 via this consolation will start the event. So this consolation event, 15 laps in distance. Only the you winner gets in. to give the guys at the back of the field a shot. Only the winner transfers. And a provisional. Now, if nobody uses the provisional from the Crown Jewel Series point standings, then the second place car Make sure you get yourself a commemorative Ice the 300 t-shirt wearing apparel over in our Riven Raceway gift shop in turn number three. Great holiday gift. You know, the holidays are just around the, about six weeks away, right? Something like that. Head on over to our gift shop in turn number three. Get yourself an Ice the 300 t-shirt or wearing apparel. Crown Jewel Series was supposed to be a six race series this year. However, the 72 lap event, July 4th weekend, July 2nd was rained out. So Galloway, New Jersey, car number 73, Paulie Hartwick Jr. Mike Christopher, the Peeless Motorsports, number 70. Out of Walcott, Connecticut, Andrew Krause, the Supreme Manufacturing number 24 out of Humdale, New Jersey. This record one. Corey Midget. In the Hampton Technology Group, number 14, is out there. The number 50, Anthony Bello, out of Newton, Connecticut, the Tri-County Teamwear, number 50. 
and Chris Turbish. Yeah, and Chris Turbish's deal here, he's probably going to be your provisional. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, Chris Turbish is your provisional in car number 81. We'll give him two hot laps and we'll be back. Caution flag down indicating that the two hot laps have been completed. So Corey Midget out of East Hampton and the Keith Grimes excavating Mickey's carding number 14 will lead this field around with Paul Hartwig Jr. Starting second, third, car number 70. The eSport feeds number 70 for Mike Christopher Jr. Fourth, car number 24 of Andrew Krause in the Supreme Manufacturing Oval Speed Unlimited number 24. Fifth, car number 50, Anthony Bello. Green flag is out. One car will transfer. Around goes the 14. Caution flag down for car number 14. Corey Midget with some contact here on the front straightaway. Yeah, Paulie Hartwig. Actually, Hartwig, I thought he went a little early on the outside. Again, your last chance to get into the 6th Annual Iceland 300 is right here. Last place pays $600. It's $7,000 to win. And it's a long race. Wally Hartwig has been sent to the rear of the field for his role in that incident. Only the winner will advance and Chris Turbish in car number 81. Green flag is out. Mike Christopher and Andrew Kraus. Caution flag down, car number 14. Corey Midget in the fence here. Not happy with the 73 no, no, I can't of blame Paul him. Hartwick. Listen, 
I'm a, I, I play it to the, the, the Hartwick has come in here like a bull in a china shop. Been a little rough. I mean, Anthony Bellow's probably still looking for his teeth. I mean, he's pounding Bellow in the rear bumper going down the back stretch. I'm sorry, I just, you know, got a call the way I see him. I mean, I'm sure he's a nice guy and everything, but geez. Unfortunate as car number 14 out for the first time here this year. There he is, folks. Joe Paprocki. Stud. Car owner extraordinaire. Several cars. He's oh, like, yeah, he's got a stable. He's like the J.D. Stacy. Yeah, he's got a stable of here cars. Here at Red Raceway. I asked him when he got here, this must be weird for you. He said, I wanted to bring the trailer empty, so I... So I had something. I'm so used to being in the pits. So Midget's car. Yeah, it's just, you know what? What a shame. He, he did nothing wrong in both encounters. Nothing. So he got chopped here on the front, which race director John Elwood sent Hartwig to the back for that. Wrecker one, wrecker one, we need you. Wrecker one, wrecker one. He must be in the cooler. Peter Bertuccio in the Brigandi Brothers Automotive. Wrecker. Peter, he might during the holiday season. Oh, this is his time of year. Want to see the Peter Bertuccio holiday extravaganza. Yeah, they do it at uh, Uncle Vinny's Pizzeria. Yes. In both seating, seating of is eight. limited. Is limited. Seating of eight, and he will sing. Well, he all. packs the house for that. He, he, he will sing all your Italian Christmas favorites <laughs> in Italian, no less. Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's if 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 you want romance, <laughs> Peter Petuccio's Italian Christmas and Uncle Vinny's Pizzeria. Capacity of eight. <laughs> Go watch him. Where's his blue velvet tuxedo? Pavarotti's got nothing on him. His wife, Mary, right now is trying to find a blue velvet tux. You mean find one? He's got like six of them in the closet. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's funny stuff. It, it's funnier because of how Peter reacts to it. It's funnier. He's such a great sport about it. I'll never forget the time. Was it was Sunday Enduro here. And, and my son Billy was announcing with me. And, they, you know, they did the pace laps with the pace cars and the American flag. So... Peter Petuccio calls Billy over to the Buzz Chew Camaro and says, I'm a late model champion, and here I am holding the American flag for the national anthem. Well, the winner of this deal will be in the show. It's as simple as that. The 81 is your provisional. He'll be the 26th starter. Only three cars here, but only one will make the feature. Christopher up the hill. Here comes Bello. Bello to the inside to the race lead. Bello says bye-bye. And he gave Christopher a shot going in the corner. Sent him up the raceway and was able to make the pass. Now Kraus to the second spot, your 2022 Wall Modified Champion at the Wall Stadium.
Third is Michael Christopher Jr. Three laps down, 12 remain, and here comes the 24. Garrett, Andrew Kraus trying to find a way. He's got that thing freed up. Yeah. He is digging in car number 24. You got to wonder if Christopher got some suspension damage and some of that contact earlier on. Kraus with a good move off turn four. Bello pitches him going into one, but Kraus is having none of it. Here comes the Supreme Manufacturer number 24 of Andrew Kraus to the lead. Great job by Kraus and car number 24 to come to your race lead here on lap number seven. Boy, Bello aggressively tried to ward the advances of Kraus. Kraus was having none of it. Now can he hold them off? Halfway through this event, seven laps remain. Andrew Kraus, car number 24, your race leader. Anthony Bello, second. Third, Mike Christopher. Kraus to get the two to go this time by. Does Bello have anything for him? If he does, he's got to go now. In car number 50. As they come to the white flag. Chris Turbish already in based on a provisional. Your final spot for the ISO 300, the sixth annual ISO 300, will be decided here. At a turn number four, Andrew Kraus will qualify for the event. Checkered flag flies, taking down the wind and advancing to today's Islip 300, Andrew Kraus. Great job. There's Ross Chastain's biggest fan, Adam Cantor, here on the front stretch. He loves, mm. loved, he could not tell you how excited he was about yes. Ross's move. He's the Martinsville. happiest guy on Facebook. So excited. Up next, legend consolation event with the starting lineup. It's Bob Fine and Bobby. We'll go by how they're on the raceway starting, uh, well, on the raceway driving the Cesspool Pros, number 22, the Michael Special contract entry. That is Michael Metcalf of Bayshore. Driving car number seven, the Bowman Automotive, Tommy Bowman Racing Entry, at Astores, Connecticut, is Michael Benton. I'd make that. <laughs> Colin Hefner at Astores, Connecticut. Then it's the 3V, the StickyThings.com entry for Michael Van Houten, Jr., out of Jamesport. Michael Benton, the special, the The Bistrian Materials, number 62 of Michael Benton. Then we have Driving car number 42, Mason Tessier, Dighton, Massachusetts, the Hegler's South Coast Power Equipment entry. The 35 is the Prime Molding Technology entry of Colin Volpe. 
16. Michael Collier out of Northport, the Delia Sod Farms entry. Out of West Isle, car number 92 is Ed Statlander, the Hardman's Electric entry. The 28 out of North, uh, Nesconset, excuse me, car number 28, the Sea Crystal Pools entry for Nick Kosas. The 82, the Ocean Graphics entry, Kim Danielle out of East Hampton. Car number 36 is Tyler Fair, parts unknown. Out of Bridgehampton, car number 93, Donald Duran, the Majak Plumbing and Heating entry. The number 99, Richie Hegler Jr., Hegler South Coast Power Equipment, number 99. 05, Mark Godnick. He's out of Seaford, the Progressive Movers entry. Rich Braun, Charlie's Hot Dogs, number 81. And Jack Baldwin, all the way at the rear of the field. In the Nick Lascula Racing, number 40. So we'll get this field aligned, and the winner the winner will advance. Oh boy. And that's it. There's a lot of cars. So, looks just about 20 cars for one spot. I mean, if you're starting anywhere past the third row, you are in a quagmire. One car transfers. One. That's it. And we will be done with qualifying after this. And unfortunately... I don't see the nine at Chase Van Houten out here. Yeah, they, that car scratched. They broke. Something broke. Poor kid was running second in this heat race. Speed ride needs to have the ride of his life here in car number three. Oh, jeez. Fats has got a cane. Fats, you're getting old. You need a cane. Fats ain't fat. No. Oh. oh, is that what it's from, buddy? It's probably from working with Adam. He'll wear you right out. Well, this is going to be interesting. It could be a slugfest. Oh, yeah. 20 cars. One spot. 
look at the move by v ride to the inside. Hepner. Car, oh no, that's not Hepner, that's the 22 car. Isaac Nuko oh, problems. Looks like the 36 car is blown up here. Caution will come out. Michael Medcalf, Michael Medcalf needs to head to the pit area, as he does now, as his bumper, hanging off car number 22. We are getting reports of oil on the raceway, which came out at car number 36 of Tyler Fair. Unfortunate for Tyler making the trip here. You know, is that the old Jake Curran car? I don't I don't know. It was backed by the Peter Fallon number six. I'm not sure he's an outside invader to be honest with oh, you. Oh no, he may not be. I just didn't have a hometown for him. Two laps into this event. 12 laps to be the distance. I just want to say something as I depart from the weekly stuff. 20 cars in the consolation. There are racetracks across this country you don't get 20 cars for a feature. It's crazy. In the legends. Green is out. B ride in the 3V to the lead. Car number 22, Isaac Newcomb to the inside. Now they got together in the heat race earlier.
Caution flag down, turn four. The 81 of Braun and the 51 of Ornberg. Jack Hanley Sr. Jack Hanley Sr. What happened to the shrimp? It's not up here in the press box. He must have ate it on the way here, Bobby. 3V. Mike Van Houten Jr., your race leader. That last restart, the 22 went and then kind of slowed up, and V-Ride went by him. And they completed the lap, and then they went to the next lap. V-Ride got passed out of turn number two. But they go back to the previous lap, and Mike Van Houten Jr. was your race leader. So now he'll restart on the bottom. He's got a fast race car. I just hope he can hold them off. Ninety-nine out of Massachusetts, Heckler will not fire. Long way to come to not make the show. Mike Van Houten Jr., three laps into this event, nine remain. Car number 22, Isaac Newcomb to the outside. The 42 of Mason Tessier sits third, fourth, the double zero of Christopher Coleman. Winner advances. Good restart for V-Ride. Gotta hold the bottom here. Here comes Tessier looking to the inside. V-Ride's up on the top of the raceway, but he's not getting the big run off the top. And he's leaving the bottom open, unfortunately. Needs to get back to the gas sooner up there. He's got more motor, you can see it.
So car number 22, Michael Metcalf, is the penalty car here. His bumper is still hanging off the car. Four laps into this event. Mike Van Houten Jr. leads the way in the stinkythings.com 3V. Four laps down, eight remain. So they head to the East-West Management Go Zone. Good restart for V-Ride. Got to hold the bottom here. If they're going to beat him, they got to beat him on the outside. Does a nice job out of turn number four. Has about a three-car length advantage. If he continues to worry about himself, He's got a shot. Don't even look up in the mirror, big fella. Just keep driving that thing. Coleman now to the inside in car double zero. That's the battle Van Houten wants to see behind him in the 3V. Mike Van Houten Jr. doing an excellent job here. He's five laps away. Just has to hit his marks as he's pulled about an eight car length advantage in the 3V. Van Houten smooth through one and two and down the back straightaway. He continues to pull away. Yeah, to stinkythings.com, Mike Van Houten trucking, number three. Wheeling, dealing, and kiss dealing up the back straightaway. Two to go this time for V-Ride. Mike Van Houten Jr. to get the two to go signal. Can't look in his mirror, just has to look in front of him. As they come to the white flag. Van Houten around lap cars, he takes the white flag. Yellow checker. Van Houten will take down the win. What a job by Mike Van Houten Jr. in the 3V. What a job to get into this race. Mike Van Houten Jr. in the stinkythings.com. Don't forget Michael is doing his annual toy drive for the Ronald McDonald House. Great job. Great job by Michael. Jim Stakey's, Stakey's Pumpkin Farm, helping him out as well. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So great, great job for Michael. That's one of his first checkered flags. It might be a second or third, heat race-wise and stuff, but that's a big win for him. Great to see him advance in the 3V. He can go home right now. He's happy. 